Yeah. Good grief. I'm teaching lessons here. This is homeschool. Apparently, I'm not a very good teacher of this subject. COVID vlogging is really hard. Saving money. Spend money. Save money. Spend money. I don't eat. found us today it's Saturday it's still pretty cold in the middle of here in January but it has been a really dry year there has been no snow we've had hardly any it's so weird I've been grateful just because I hate the cold and taking care of the chickens in the snow is no fun but I am starting to get a little bit concerned that we aren't gonna have enough water around here since this is a desert but whatever I'm glad you're hanging out with us today and I hope we have a fun day. Morning, ladies and chic. How are we this morning? Little problem that we have. Little Miss Rockstar has gone broody. And other chickens don't like that. She walks around puffed up and cluck, cluck, clucking, huh? And she's basically sat in this box for a few days now. And I don't know who keeps laying these little fairy eggs. This is the third one this week. What on earth? There's nothing but egg white in them. I know, because I've eaten them. So strange. And she was sitting on it, trying to, to hatch it up. Ha, huh, silly bird. Anyway, you can see the other chickens don't like her. They don't like a broody chicken. She's just running around crazy, trying to get some food. She's like, oh no, my egg. What happened to my egg? I got no egg to sit upon. Oh no, what'd you do with it? Yeah, that's right, girl. You got no egg, you know why? Because all of the other birds won't go in there because she's in there, and so they've been laying their eggs back over here again. They loved that box forever until she started sitting in it, and she's been in it a few days, and now they've given up and started laying over here again. Yep. <laughs> Chickens are so funny, but I think I'm gonna have to do the broody breaker box. I've been tossing her out of the nest. <sighs> but when she's out here, they're really mean to her. There she is going back in there again. Good grief. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna have to lock her up in there. It's not gonna be fun, but I'm gonna have to do it. Oh, will you get out of there for heaven's sake? So this is the broody box, but the problem is I've got three ladies in there I gotta get out before I can put her in. But basically, this has no soft place to be. All right, little missy. Poor little mama. Poor little broody mama. You're so sweet though, she's so gentle. Some chickens when they're broody are like mean as heck. She's super kind and sweet. And like, I feel super bad like having to put her in there but it's for her own good and mine because she won't lay any eggs. So we keep her in there three, four days and usually that fixes them. So here's hoping. In you go, mama. There you go, free food and water all to yourself and nobody can bother you. Eat up, girl, eat up. Who are you talking to? Lydia. Who's on the video? Hey, say hi to hide and seek. Your lipstick looks good. No, mine looks better. What is wrong with yours? I'm Miranda Sings. Oh, 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 I don't know who that is, but okay. She wears a lipstick like this, Mom. Okay, does she, she sing? she like this. Does she sing? Yeah. She does? She sings like this. Then she should stop singing. <laughs> but in real life, she sings good. Okay, I sure hope that comes off. No, it doesn't. Um... <laughs> What are you doing with your life? Don't you know any <laughs> Well, enjoy. Okay.
this all you guys do anymore? Yeah. Yep. I was just coming to check and see if your room's still clean. Yeah, it is. We need to sweep it. How many days is that you've kept your room clean? Four. Four, Four whole days. So, do you ever come out anymore and like participate in the family, or you just spend all of your lives in here singing, sing doing karaoke? karaoke? I don't want to go downstairs. This is so amazing. I don't want to go downstairs. Ever again? No. Okay. Bye. But I can't even put these songs on my video. Only if Virginia's singing. If she's not singing, I don't want to hear it. Come on, Virginia. I did the eyeball. Because Ruby has a very low voice, like me, you're like my twinsy. Yeah, I heard. I wish you had filmed that. That would have been funny. Yeah. Well, he didn't know you were going to get that scared. He's just walking up. Higher. Ready? No! Higher. Higher. Better. No! <laughs> oh, so bad. <laughs> Picture it going up into the back of your skull up here. And tuck down. You guys are cracking me up. Mom, I can't sing That's a really hard song. It's like me trying to sing Adele. It's impossible, even no. though Adele's in my range. So, yeah, you have a middle range. She has all over, and can she can has sing? very I low. Can, like, can help me with this Ruby one? is the most alto seven-year-old I've ever heard. She has her voice is so low range, which is good because that means you can sing very low, like me, but. Dude, it's low. very difficult to sing those high notes without going flat. <laughs> I, can't I know you can hear it. I think you just you can't reach it. You have to use your head voice. You have I to stop using your I chest voice, your your ah uh, voice, and you have to go to your ah uh, voice, which is up here. Head voice. Mom, I you tip can't. your head down. You yawn in the back of your throat, 
and you push the air, you imagine the air going up the back of your neck and coming in the top of your head, and it's a softer sound, but you can push it with your gut. Down here, Ruby, you can push the air with your gut and make it go into the back of your head to force the head voice louder. Dude, I've actually studied singing my whole life. Who are you on there with? Good grief, I'm teaching lessons here. This is homeschool. Okay, so instead of going, ah, uh, do you hear that? That's me though. This is here. Yeah, I'm gonna change Ah, uh, instead of hitting it here, you change it to, ah, uh, it's up here. It just feels like it's coming from somewhere else. And you squeeze here and you go, ah, uh, and it's a softer sound, but it's less here, it's more here. And I don't know how else to describe it. Apparently, I'm not a very good teacher of this subject. Mom, I'm middle range. I can't sing. Hey. I can't sing. Oh, hey, look who's back. So, we're good. Like, so. you can hide, like, obviously, um, with the videographers, she's totally fine with Boston and Run. What is um, it? She said also about if you took some photos of, like, not oh, wait, turn it off getting ready so at the reception, can... but the buddy, I mean, the temple, she's fine with putting some of those photos in the album. So well. just using me like a second shooter or whatever yeah. I feel like. Okay. I'm what not going to probably no, take you for No, 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 obviously, and I told her that too. So she said she's not worried oh about that gosh. either. Um, and then she's fine with being on the YouTube channel. So. Yeah, all right, Jess. We got us a good photographer. Oh, Guys, you photo. just wait till you see her photos because she is amazing. And we are we are not sponsoring her, but yeah, we are actually doing an ad for her because she's amazing. So yeah. if you live in Utah, it's... Jessica E. Photography. Thank you. Sorry. I'm, I know I'm going to butcher it if I get it wrong because I forget she doesn't go by her current last name. It's her mm -hmm. old yeah. middle name? Last name? I think so. Yeah. I, I don't know. Jess? I can't sing high or low. Yeah. If you're somewhere in between, that's okay. I'm middle. Top alto, low soprano. That's how I was when I was younger. Now I'm old. And... I don't want to yeah. sing low. So Ronnie, book the photographer today. Sing. Why can't you do it? What? Sing? Book the sing, oh, sing, do sing. the photography? <laughs> yeah. My own daughter's wedding? No, 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 no. Are you insane? You did it at Sully's? I did it at Sully's, and it was horrifying. <laughs> at Sully's, I was the photographer, the videographer, the YouTuber, the live streamer, and I also had to be mom of the groom, which means I didn't actually get to do that part and, like, pay attention and watch because I was watching, like, three different cameras, and one of them fell over, and the whole time I'm just like, fix the camera, <gasps> And taking pictures at the same time. That was horrible. And the only reason I could stop it, the only reason I could do that was because it was in my front yard with just us. Otherwise, I could never have done that. And Ronnie's not going to be like that. We're doing this post-COVID after everybody's had the chance to get the vaccine. So we're having a big old party. See, I could... I, I could. Right. Uh, mm. Mm. No. You can take some. I'll let you... I'll let you run around no, with my camera if you want. Sure. Well, you, you, you can well, cut it up right here and put some... No, one's put some, here. Put no some I'm not putting pictures. photos up. There's a whole vlog about pictures you've taken already. <laughs> oh, okay, Seekers. Well, it has been a day. I'll tell you what. It's been kind of a weird day. Um, I, I've been kind of all over the place. I haven't really been able to videotape much. Most of the day I have spent editing videos. And... My daughter went and booked a photographer, an amazing photographer for her wedding. We found out um, that her wedding dress is almost done and I, I, it's a secret. And what other fun things happened today? The girls did karaoke all day and yeah, I don't know. I spend a lot of time t deciding on my New Year's resolutions. Yes, I know. I am very late for you guys even so even more so than me for me it is only january 16th for you i have no idea because i am so far behind so i've been thinking i never have given you guys really an update on how the budgeting went before all of the covid 19 things hit at the beginning of the year i was way into the budget zone and that's what we were talking about on the channel i was filling you guys in on my budgeting plans and what i was learning it's embarrassing to be in my late 40s and not understand money. It is embarrassing. And it's frustrating to be a mom of nine and not be able to manage money and to be scared about the future because we don't have millions of dollars in the bank account to cover our butts when we want to retire. 
it's a lot. And I must be what I'm supposed to think about because lately that is all I can think about is making my money work for me. So I thought it would be fun since we're very late, I know we're very late, but to give you a 2020 update on how 2020 went and what I'm changing for this year with regards to the budget. So I made it really, really far in 2020. I budgeted really, really well all the way up through the summer. I think it wasn't until August that the budgeting kind of just started to fall apart. And I wouldn't say it totally fell apart. But what happened was is that I actually got into it being a habit. And so I would do the budget each month, but I didn't always write it down and track it as well as I could. I was just kind of doing it at, at, out of my head. We got a lot of things automated this year. That was high on our level, our, our high on our list of priorities was to get a lot of our bills automated. We were able to catch up and get ahead on our water bill so that our water bill comes out monthly in a reasonable amount so that we won't get killed every single time we fill that pool in the summer, right? And we got our electric bill and our gas bill was taken care of to be taken out. And the big hurdle was getting our um, house payment to get taken out. And we were finally able to get ahead on the house payment in order to be able to make sure that it could get taken out every single time on time. And we didn't have to worry about doing that anymore, which is huge. So the only things I have to actually remember to go in and pay are our donations to our church, which is always number one, and our ballet tuitions. One of them. One of them comes out automatically. The other one I have to go in and pay. Um, and basically every single bill, other bill is completely taken out automatically. December was our final payment for our really, really bad mistake that we got into when I was pregnant with Jasper. We were so far behind on a credit card that we went into collections and we made a payment plan with them in order to try and pay that off. We had so many late fees. It took like two years to get even caught up to be paying regular payments. And then they took the regular payments out until December. We paid the very last payment. So it feels so good to have that debt off of our shoulders and we're able to put that debt money into something else. So I'm, we're putting in half of that. Well, well, we're, well we're putting in, so it was $153 payment and we're putting $40 of that per paycheck. So $80 of that money into our health savings because we have big goals with our, with our, um, health savings money. I'm hoping to get loose skin surgery at some point and we're trying to save up some money for braces that are going to come up and things like that. And so we can have a nice cushion in our HSA. We have a pretty good one already and we're just trying to build that up. So now we're going to be putting $400 a month into our HSA fund, which is really, really good. And that's automatic and automatic is always good, right? <laughs> automatic is always good. And then the rest of that money, the rest of that payment, the other what? $73 is going to go toward my smallest debt, the one that I've been trying to pay off since. Oh my gosh, I think I took out that loan in 2006. It's my own loan. I took it out to buy my very first camera. It's what made me a photographer, but it is still not paid off. And it has gone into defunct several times. It's been late paymented several times. It's taken me forever to build my credit back up. But I will say my credit score, my personal credit score, which that particular loan completely tanked because I'm terrible with money, but not anymore, is now up to 681, which I know is not stellar, but at least it's not abysmal. So that is awesome. Plus now I can apply for things and actually get approved for the first time in years, which is so good. So that is, I think I'm down to only $500 still. I know it's not crazy, but oh, $500 on that still. And so I'm going to be able to pay that off It probably within three to four months, which is going to be great. I'm super excited about that. Um, then we just have left over our Amazon, which the Amazon card got racked up back in August and September when everything fell apart because we did not plan ahead for things to happen like school fees we weren't prepared for, homeschool classes that cost more money than we were expecting, cars that broke down, things like that that were really stressing us out and lower YouTube funds which is where we would normally have drawn from. Um, we weren't able to get as much funds because of COVID and so we were kind of behind that way on our extra funds. So that's next. <laughs> That will be next to work on that debt. But I'm not super stressed over the debt. This year, what I want to focus on is saving. So we, like I said, we bumped up the saving on the HSA. And then we are also going to be 
opening a savings account. So I'm going to get paid in a couple of weeks from YouTube and I am going to take that money and I'm going to open my own personal savings account. And it is going to be my goal to put money in that account every single month and leave it. Leaving it is the hard part. It's kind of easy for me to like save up for something important and then like buy it or go that place or whatever. But the concept of just putting it in for an emergency fund is really, really hard for me. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell myself I'm saving up for my surgery or I'm tell myself I'm saving up for a vacation or something like that. Then, of course, my daughter is getting married in June, so a lot of our funds that we got from the government is going into the, her wedding. So far, we have paid the venue, and we've paid her photographer, and we're going to be buying other various items. And, of course, I used some of that money for my daughter's big room makeover. You saw that last week, the room makeover. It was very, it was a lot of money, and I used a lot of my YouTube money that I made in the fall. I made a lot of extra money in, in YouTube in the fall. I didn't know that was going to happen. So I think I'm starting to get the ebbs and flows of YouTube. It seems like in the spring, it kind of slows down. In the summer, it's okay. In the fall, it's the early fall between August and September, it's really tight and I need to plan for that. And then October through December, it's really, really good. And so I need to keep that in mind as I'm putting together my budget for the year to try and plan to have a cushion to get through August and September when I'm going to be paying for those classes and the homeschool things and all of that before my reimbursements start coming in. So that is where I'm at with the budget. My goal is just baby stepping this. I mean, I try and watch videos and take classes and watch YouTube channels and I literally my stomach gets in knots and I start to hyperventilate and I start to freak out. And then I go, look, you learned how to lose weight and you learned how to teach it. If you can learn that, you can learn this. You just need to do it one bit at a time. If we look back at 2020, especially compared to what could have been and what it might have been if we hadn't been, had budgeting on the mind and... You know, it was a crazy year. We lost a lot of YouTube income. I lost a lot of dance studio income. I lost $5,000 in dance studio income that I'm used to having. And we still made it through with extra money at the end of the year. So I think, obviously, I made progress last year despite COVID-19 and all the crazy that happened in the year. I still feel like we made progress. And so I'm hopeful that in 2021, we will continue making progress we will be having a gorgeous wedding in the summer. We are going to be having all of our dance funds, hopefully, because I think they're going to be able to make it happen with the vaccine coming out and everything. Everything is going to be a little bit more back to normal. So I should be able to have that those funds. And now I am better prepared to handle and put those funds in places where they can really benefit us to get us moving towards a better financial future. So... Woo! There's your update. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I'm sorry today's vlog was so all over and not really having much in it. Um, sometimes that's how it is. It, COVID vlogging is really hard, you guys. Like, we're doing nothing. Like, we're sitting around doing school. Like, we did that whole big project with the girls' room and that took up every time that we had. And now we're just kind of like, now what? My entire house is in utter shambles. Let's not even go into that. Let's not even go into the girl's room, destroyed my entire house, and now it's going to take me like six months to recover. And doing the girl's room made me realize how falling apart everything else is and makes me want to spend the money on that. And here I am like, saving money, spend money, save money, spend money. Ah! Oh, it's crazy. It is crazy. So... But we're, we love sharing it with you guys and we hope that you enjoy this little update. And I'm just going to say thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and seek your truth. Bye, Seekers. Find us later. Find us later.